Well, Reed Johnson, events manager from Events and Adventures, is in our studio with great last-minute date ideas. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day to you. And Reed, by the way, these aren't just date ideas, right? If you're a single person and you want to go out and do something social, you have a ton of things for those folks as well. Absolutely. And, you know, tonight's a great night to just to go out with somebody. Everybody wants to go out tonight. So if you're single and you're at work or you're at the gym or something and you've got somebody you want to talk to, grab them and say, let's go do this tonight. And it's a, it's a good in. What I love is that you're giving um, sort of alternatives to those prefix, the high price right. dinners. Right. And let's jump in immediately right. to the foodie person. Okay. Well, yeah, I'm not going to bury the lead here. I think personally, if you're one of those people out in the audience right now that's just sweating, that's just dialing the phone, every single restaurant you can find, you can put it down because right now you can just go to Dunhuang Plaza. So this plaza has everything. Tons of restaurants that are going to be easy to get into tonight. Um, tons of different dessert options. And afterward, um, there are some bars in the area and also karaoke for after that. What oh, I think is great yes. is most people get overwhelmed when they go because they're like, I don't know right. what door to open. I don't know where to go when I'm there. But really, they're all good. If, if you're an adventurous person or your partner or the person that you're going out with is and they're not afraid to try new things, try new food, yeah. definitely go there and just pick a door. And this is a great place to do some dessert first. So if you want to do maybe some dessert beforehand a little bit, yeah. go have some food, some different light bites. You can almost treat it like a tapa. So go to different places and then try some more dessert. I love end. it. Basically Beltway 8 and Bel Air, right? Yeah, there's some uh, amazing uh, sea salt uh, soft serve ice cream that you'd want to try, um, some gelato in the area, uh, other ice cream, other treats as well. Bubble teas, of course. Love it. Okay, moving on to Volen Beering. Volen Beering, That's yes. not a typo, right? <laughs> <laughs> I think this is the one I'm leaning towards tonight, but St. Arnold has teamed up with Memorial Park to do some cleanup. So they're going to be awesome. uh, planting trees. They're going to be uh, removing invasive species from 5.30 to 7.30 tonight. So just pack up your stuff, go out. So super casual, especially if you don't want to have to worry about what to wear. This is perfect. Just say, hey, oh grab gosh. some jeans, some closed-toed shoes, go out, do some volunteering, and uh, have a few beers. How great, idea. and also, what a great place. If you don't have anything and you are single, what a great yeah. place to go. Absolutely. Volunteer, give back. Love it. St. Arnold beer, you can't beat Hello. Them. The best. <laughs> okay, one of my favorite, I love the Derry Ashford uh, roller skating rink. Yes. It's super, have you been there? <laughs> no, not yet, but I love to roller skate. Okay, it's amazing. We're going to go, because this Absolutely. is such a great spot. Tonight, you have to go tonight. So... They've been doing this, I think, for about 10 years, a special uh, Valentine's Day with sort of like the roller crew. So this is just going to be a great night to go. If you haven't been a long time, you want that nostalgic feel, you can go. But it's also going to be great watching because the skaters there are going to be top-notch tonight. So you're going to get to see some the skaters. You know, usually there's two or three skaters that oh, are yeah. really good. Right. I think tonight you're going to see a lot of them. So. Awesome. And, and the skaters are really good are like in their zone. Oh, they got yeah. the mullet going on. Holding no hands. Couples skate. <laughs> Backwards ladies skate. Ladies only. Ladies only. We cross over <laughs> as we go on the corner. I love it. Yeah. Uh, $10 per person, and that's with or without skating. So right. just go hang out and watch. Yeah. But why watch when you I can know, skate? I know. Okay, let's talk about the, the bats at Wap Ridge. Oh, I love yes. this one too. This is going to be a perfect night. One of the things that I find most surprising about when I'm planning events 40 a month or so for our group is that surprisingly some of the iconic things in Houston that people don't ever do, just right. you know, that they know they, that they're they, they live they don't here. Ever go. Right. Like if you live in New York, you never go to the Empire State Building. This is one of the always one of the more popular attractions. So I really recommend going there. It can be super casual too if you're a uh, date or the person that you're going with might be describe themselves as strange or unusual this could also be a fun time but there's a whole foods nearby and you can go grab some food yeah, there try have a, a bunch drink of there things, too yeah bring your picnic uh bring some watermelon if you guys watched the segment earlier you know watermelon's important for tonight exactly uh, camp out Aphrodisiac. and then, uh, watch the uh, watch the bats come out and that's really exciting it's really fun I love it. Okay, this is, we're, we're taking a turn. We're going sexy for singles. Absolutely. You have to go sexy for singles. If you have, have you ever been to Marfrelis before? I have not. Okay, it's in the River Oaks area. It is a, a bar with no sign. It's just this hidden door okay, bar. I was confused. I was like, so bar with no what? With no, <laughs> with no booze. That's not called a bar. It's Reed, fantastic that's called something else. There. I'm it's just kidding. It's very loungy. Uh, it's very dark. It's very intimate. Uh, but it's going to be really fun tonight. So whatever stage of your relationship you're in, it's going to be fun because Beth Liebling from Darling Way, She's an author, she's our sex expert. We do uh, uh, lectures with her every month. They always sell out with our members. And she, she leads an amazing trivia that's not too naughty, not too risque, but just enough. So she makes it fun and a very safe place to, uh, to have fun and mingle with other people. And that's where our group will be tonight. So if you wanna see some single folks, okay. uh, you might rub shoulders with me or some other single folks from our club. Very nice. We got a cruise through these last few. Okay. At the River Oaks Theater, if you want to get artsy, there are a couple films being shown. Yes. Do you, do you know when the River Oaks Theater was made? On Valentine's Day? <laughs> 
That would be cute, maybe. But uh, 1939, so this is another okay. one that's very historic, very neat. Uh, go sip a, uh, one of their trademark vodka martinis beforehand. It's a very old building. It's it's very, uh, it's different. So you're going to get that different feel, that different vibe than just going to the Cineplex or whatever. So I think this one's really special. People will like it. That is great. And then also, I mean, who doesn't love a good game of bingo? Yes, bingo is absolutely hands down my favorite. Knock it till you try it. This is a super hip, a place to see and be seen. It is it or not. so fun. Uh, you can bring in your own liquor, your yes, own you food, can. so you can have a fancy meal delivered. How cool would that look? You bring in a little tablecloth. It happens. You set your own section at the uh, table. Yep. You can order in your food, or you can enjoy local craft beer there for really cheap, and they also uh, cater in Chick-fil-A, too. So. But get there early, because it does fill Absolutely, up. guys. If you're going to go, be in line by 5.30 to 6 o'clock, or you're not going to get it. Absolutely. Send your friends to hold your place. Reed, we got to leave it there. Thanks so much for Thank the tips. Thank you so much for having me. As always, if you would like to keep up with Reed, check out the Scene on Houston Life section of our website.